You're watching KKTV 11 News. Welcome on back and thanks for sticking with us. Now this month is Wildfire Preparedness Month and we're talking with the experts about how you can prep for the worst. We're joined now with Josh Expert, uh, Egbert, who is, is our expert. expert. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. He's the region's communications manager for the American Red Cross of Colorado and Wyoming. Josh, thanks so much for being here with thanks us. Thanks for having us. So we are taking part in Wildfire Preparedness Month. What should we all do this month to prepare for a disaster? Well, you know, wildfire season used to be just a couple months long during the summertime. Now it's all year long. We've already seen this year some evacuations uh, here in the Springs area over in near Los Animas uh, a couple months ago. And so now is the perfect time to really prepare. You know, we're seeing today we're seeing those gusty winds uh, all week long. And so, yeah. uh, you know, a, a fire can really spark anytime, anywhere. And so it's important to be prepared. You know, know what you're, you and your family are going to do, where you're going to go. Um, have a, an emergency kit, things like that. So this is that month to to really prepare for something in case it were to happen. Yeah, and not just if you live in the woods. We all saw what happened with the Marshall Fire. Absolutely. And that's one of the big messages we want to get across. That kit that you were talking about, what goes into that kit? Yeah, so you're forced to uh, evacuate at a, at a moment's notice. So if you have a t uh, an emergency kit, put things in there such as maybe some medications, um, some clothes if you're not able to get back in the next day or two if you're forced to stay out for an extra long period of time. Think about your kids. What kind of things do you, your kids need? Um, whether that be you know toys, coloring books, um, electronic uh, cords, you know to plug in iPads. Yeah, I, I can't iPads, lose those. iPads, <laughs> things like that. And so you want to make sure that that you tailor those kits to your family, and also think about your pets, you know as well. So they're they're part of the family. So um, flashlights, band aids, first aid kits, things like that as well, just in case you have to leave your home. The Red Cross responding to more disasters than ever. Josh, you've been telling me about this. You guys are always looking for volunteers. We are, you know, when we open a shelter, when there's a, maybe a house fire, our volunteers uh, head out there. Our volunteers also deploy to other areas of the country as well. You know, last year, more than 170 of our volunteers from Colorado and Wyoming responded to places such as Hawaii, California, uh, Washington for wildfires. And Florida. So, and, and Florida as well for, for hurricanes. And so um, our volunteers, they're the heart of our mission. They com compose of 90% of our, our workforce. And so uh, they are essential for what we do. Um, when we have to open an evacuation center or a shelter, our volunteers are there. You know, they're there for comfort and support to make sure that you're, you're safe as well. And, you know, we're also looking for um, skilled health healthcare professionals. Say you're a retired nurse. Um, you know, th those are always essential, you know, a traumatic event need somebody to talk to those nurses are, are a great are, way to give back to the community great after way you, to give back to the community you may Absolutely. retire yeah. all right josh the red cross does such great work thank you so much for being here with us today Thanks, yeah and hey if you're interested in volunteering we made it really easy for you hit up our website kktv.com click the find it tab got all the details from the red cross there and a shout out to all those volunteers we'll be right back